Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. We're leaving Boracay today, but we are off to Romblon. Thank you, Nelly. A Nelly, a Nelly Cortado, right? Thank you. <laughs> Bye, Thank thanks you. so much. Thank you. Nothing like that first morning coffee. Coffee pour. This is my second though. So we're just at, I just don't know where we are. Are we just still on the main beach or is it a different part? Yeah, I think we're just along the beach. Let me see on my Google map because I don't recognize this part. Oh yeah, we literally just, oh, <laughs> that felt like a really long drive. <laughs> Between station one and two, we went the roadway round and we're about to get on a boat now. Um, I'm not sure if we've got our own boat or if we're with people, but we're trying to get as close as we can to the place we're going next in Romblon because I think we're staying somewhere that's not by the main town, so we'll see, but I don't know, it's so nice though, nice day. The place we're staying, oh, you can't even see my face. Ah, that's better. The place we're staying in Romblon only opened, I think very recently, like in the last week, so we're very, very excited to go there. A place called Ocean's Edge, and we're there for the next couple of days to explore Romblon. I don't know much about the island at all. I've only seen a few photos, so I'm very excited to uh, give you guys genuine reaction. Let us know if you've been there or if you haven't. Um, we're looking forward to bringing you along and showing you, showing you what's there. to a new location. The team got ready this morning, we had a nice breakfast, grabbed a last coffee from Little Wave, and off we go. I wanna, I wanna jump in here. I know, it's, it's hot. It's so nice, it's very, very warm today. For some reason, I'm a little bit more thirsty than usual. <laughs> Great. <laughs> side of the boat we had to set up here because water was coming in to the boat but we're fine the sea's got a little little bit more calm now coming into Carabao Island uh, looks amazing it looks a lot more a lot quieter very very nearly there Look at the water here. Oh, look at this place. So we made it, our luggage made it, and we are here at Ocean's Edge. This place, it's so stunning. Look at this place. Can you see it? Where is it? Over. And we're going to be there. some of the first people to experience this as well. It literally opened like two or three days ago. I'm yeah. so excited to see the rooms. They look amazing. Let's go. Thank you. So, oh, this is incredible. This is just amazing. Can't believe it. Sometimes we, uh, sometimes I pinch myself at the places we end up in. We're gonna relax here for a little bit. 
Gonna meet the people who own and run this place. Literally been open two days. We'll show you around the room, we'll show you the beach. I'm not sure the exact plan for today. We are very, very excited to be here. We just walked up some stairs, just lots of stairs I must say. Oh, thank you. Oh, Amazing. <laughs> just preparing some drinks, but look at this pool, guys. This is crazy. And it's got this view of the ocean. I feel very, very happy right now. So stunning. Wow. Oh, paradise. And it's so nice today. It's such a contrast from Barakai, which is so, so touristy and so many people. And here it's just like us. We're the only people in this resort right now. Yeah, it's the opposite. It's incredible. Don't know about you guys, but I am so ready for a dip in the pool or in the ocean, one or the other. Wow. Look at this. Crazy. And Mike thinks he may have spotted a coffee machine over there, which could be great. You know the drama is never ending. Don't let it get the best of you. Nelly, you look very at home here. You look very at home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Obviously. Casa. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at that view. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Breakfast so out here in the morning. Oh, yeah. I can imagine working up here. Thank you so much. Hi, thanks. Thank you. <gasps> look at this. I like to put these straight on the back of my neck. Find that bit of wrist, bit of wrist action, and then straight on the Straight on the back of the neck, if you move your hair, move your hat. Oh! <laughs> I literally have seen you do this so <laughs> Oh yeah, that's the best way. Oh, then you can just kind of rub it all Wipe over Wipe the face. dirty neck stuff onto your face. Yeah. Love it. Oh, that is so needed. Just, just have a shower with it, really. <laughs> Start taking your clothes off in the middle yeah. of the lobby. Yes, please. Ladies first. Where'd, where'd the lady go? She's over there tripping over. Thank you so much, thank you. Oh yeah. Tequila. Whiskey. Later on, sir. Thank you. Still the morning. Oh, refreshing. <laughs> they must have heard about us. Then uh, yeah. you have some bikes, sir. Ah, oh, thank nice. you. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Cheers. Making it juicy every day. <laughs> Off to check in now. Um, there's loads of different types of room here, and I'm not too sure which one we're staying in, but we've got a key, and we're just gonna follow these guys and check out where we're staying for the next few nights. Sci fish. Very much so. Got a broken laundry bag there? Yeah, broke. Never mind. Such a nice resort. It's, I don't know it's where a we're huge, staying. huge property. Yeah. Um, we'll put a link to this place in the description of the video. I think it'll be quite easy to recommend this place. Yeah. Let's have a look at the rooms. Guys, we've just arrived at our room. It's so nice. It's just behind you up here. I'm going to show amazing. you. It's amazing. I'm going to show you. It's time for a juicy vlog room tour. Look how big it is. That whole floor is ours. Wow. Do so we have a mic? Coffee. <laughs> Unreal. We have a whole balcony around the edge, but we'll show you that in a second. Let's go inside. Come in. Why did I start this? I don't know, you started it though, not my fault. There we go. Oh, a bed. This is so sweet. There's loads of books here that you can read. And uh, there's no Wi Fi in this room, and there's no service on our phone, so you have to go to the lobby to get Wi Fi. But we can read books instead. And this leads into this incredible view of the beach chairs out here to sit on and relax. Wow. Look at this view. That is stunning. So nice. And then we've got the bathroom. Which is actually a bath room. It's and a room. It has the same view of the ocean which is amazing. So you can literally be having your morning shower looking at that. That is crazy. I'm just going to stand here completely naked oh. and look out on this. Ooh, these look nice. Oops, oops, oops. Oh, oh. Carl, what is all this? You've just trod something in. Yeah, uh, muddy, muddy footprints. Sorry, I'll, Maybe it's mud. I'll clean that. I don't yeah, even know. I don't know why my. And that concludes the Juice Little Room Tour. And then something that I love, they've given us these reusable bottles and they're saying, will you join our journey to zero waste lifestyle? And it's all about plastic, no plastic bottles. And it's literally so cool. Little glass bottle that you can fill with water. So less thing we use plastic and they said we can take this home with us as well. I say Amazing. Home. We're not going home. We, we can take this to the next place with us. I like it when hotels encourage all that. Because I feel like in most, in a lot of hotel rooms you get tiny little plastic bottles and you get two of them every single day and they keep playing with this plastic in. But here, none of that. Glass Sorted. Bottles, so good. Oh wait, 
Oh. oh. I forgot to show you my hat. They even give you a hat. <laughs> so we're gonna head over for some lunch now. We're not gonna go this way because Lucy nearly fell down there a minute ago. So we're gonna be sensible and we'll walk around. All the staff here have been brought over from a different resort and they're super friendly, so, so helpful. Um, we met Jason, who is like the, the bar guy. He's gonna hopefully hook us up with some cocktails this evening. We also had a coffee, the coffee here is great. They use, what, what were the beans? I wasn't there. Lucy wasn't there. Uh, they used some beans that Mike recognized. Dangerously running low on adjectives because I'm using <laughs> all the adjectives for this place. I know, all I know, the adjectives. all of them. Yeah. Sorry? Insane. I think I have. <laughs> I think I have. It's the first one that sprung to mind. I know often that we say that this is not, not a holiday, it's not a vacation, but somehow today feels a little bit like one. So nice, we're just chilling out by the pool, having some beers. We're gonna have a really nice view of sunset from this pool, it's such a good location for it. Like, very well chosen place to put a pool, I must say, because it's just view right out into the ocean. And when you're kind of in the middle of the pool, all you can see is the pool water and then the sea, like an infinity pool. We keep talking about something, but we're not telling you what it is, as always. Um, a few of you have got the guesses right in the comments recently, we've said it in the last few videos. But something exciting is happening soon, um, it's to do with Do The Thing, uh, which is our little slogan we live by, do the thing you love, do the thing that makes you happy. And yeah, that's what I'm just gonna keep it there for now. I'm gonna keep dropping teasers in each video. And anyway, if you're an already not, make sure you guys are doing the thing. Do the thing you love, whatever it may be. I wanna live here. I think I wanna live here. Just I'm here, sure we can arrange just that. right here, just live right here. Yeah. We're gonna grab another coffee. Um, they got a brand new machine here and they've literally just opened. Mike was chatting coffee with the guy who's just trained up as a barista and Mike has offered some of his coffee knowledge. Um, if you don't know, Mike and Ellie ran their own coffee shop. Uh, very knowledgeable on coffee, which he's passed on to us and he's now gonna pass on a little bit of training to Jason here who makes the coffee at Ocean's Edge. So um, let's go. Then we're gonna have some wine. This is great. This is amazing. I can't believe that it's like, Half an hour, hour from Boracay, but it's so different. There's like, there's no people here. There's no one here at all. So you, you, even if you want a holiday or a vacation to Boracay, you could, you could, I don't know, say you got two weeks, do like a week there and a week here or other way around or mix it up. Come here for a couple of nights if you want a bit more of a relaxing, uh, quiet getaway, but you want to come to the same sort of area. Amazing beaches, the water. So we're about to see, the sunset's here. This is, they've put the pool. I don't know how they... Sunset is Whoever there. designed this like is perfect. We've enjoyed the sun all afternoon here and sunset is also here. We've got a huge, huge 
view and forever of the sky. It's just gonna be amazing. View from our room. Yeah, we're gonna see it. We can see it from our room as well. Insane. Insane. Pull it down so you have kind of a pre-infusion and extraction, and then the back flush is not behind the machine. It's in front. It's awesome. I love hearing Mike talk about coffee. <laughs> it's like therapeutic too. I don't know. It's just calming, relaxing, the word to use is the way he says it. <laughs> so if you guys have ever wanted to know how to make a good coffee at home, if you've got an espresso machine or you're thinking of buying one, listen closely, watch and learn. So depending on how, what kind of espresso bean you have, uh, you need a different amount of uh, ground beans, you need a different strength of how you temper it. So if it's a lighter grind, um, if it's grind ground more finely, you don't want to do too much tamping. Then you always want to purge the machine. These are the beans they're using, Yardstick, which we've actually had in Manila before. Oh, we got 50-50 blend um, from Brazil and Indonesia. On, so two, from what Mike told me, two very good locations for coffee on the coffee belt of the Ooh. world. You can see the difference here. This is the most recent one? Yeah, you got the crema coming now. Blonding. Blonding. So. Still bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Still an espresso. Yeah. Still tastes like espresso. <laughs> <laughs> you used to have a full of, full of flavor. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because yeah. now we've got a proper extraction. Yeah. See what happens when it goes through too fast. You can, the taste, water, the water, you can taste the water in those other ones. Yeah, yeah. the water just goes past our espresso beans. But yeah. with us, you could see that the gauge will go okay. up to nine bars. Yeah. And then it starts extracting the coffee. Yeah. It's like a it's like a, a game of balancing and playing with the yeah, yeah. with the values. And Nelly and I were just saying that we really want to see dolphins. Uh, apparently, there's meant to be dolphins here. Uh, sometimes we've been looking all afternoon, haven't seen them yet. We really Where want to you? see the dolphins. Where are you at, Flipper? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, but as we were saying, people keep driving their boats along here, and it's just not just, good. It's going to put the dolphins else, off. Please. <laughs> We just love dolphins. You're scaring away the dolphins. <laughs> wow, look at that. When we got our apartment in Miami, the real estate agent said, oh, and sometimes you can see dolphins in the bay right from your balcony. And we were like, all right, sold. We didn't even see the apartment. We just uh, wanted to see the dolphins. <laughs> Did you see them? <laughs> yeah, but I think after four months, we wanted to go to the office and complain because we didn't see any dolphins whatsoever. You're like, I bought this property because I wanted to see dolphins. Yeah, and all, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, dolphins appeared in the bay and from that from that point on, they just kept coming back and back. So, so what you're saying is the people that you took the property from put yeah. dolphins in the water so you wouldn't complain. <laughs> I understand. True. <laughs> just going to enjoy this beautiful sunset and hopefully some coffees on the way, right? Yeah. You're like, it's <laughs> taking so long. Just need to figure out the espresso recipe. Yeah. I just said on our vlog that it takes some time to find the right um, recipe. Yeah. And sometimes it depends on, I mean, it depends on many factors, but sometimes one second can make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. So I think they are very close. Good. Yeah. And then we can get onto milk. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> on that note. So Mike has successfully adjusted the grinder to get a finer grind to make a better espresso. He was happy with one, <laughs> um, but of course being a perfectionist, he's running another one through just to check the consistency. And then we're, then we're gonna get onto the milk foaming and um, practice some latte art. For which I tried once and failed oh, no, it's hilarious. miserably. George I made, made a boat. Uh, I made, no, a cloud, a cloud and, and a, bus. a bus. It was so funny, like we were at Christmas at George's parents' house, his mum's got a hot coffee machine, trying to do latte out, and he's like, anyone want a coffee? Anyone, please, someone order a coffee. I was like, order. I, had, I like got temperature right yeah. and stuff. And, then and it was like, just so bad. And he spent like thick, and an just... hour on one coffee. Oh. Yeah. Shame. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. But it never changed. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was almost too much foam already. So it's uh, low temperature, but more taste. 
because then you get some air out. If you look at the surface of the milk, uh, you shake it, you swirl it, and you wait for the top surface. You want it to become shiny. So you need light, and you know uh, paint for the wall? White yeah. paint? Yeah, yeah. When it looks like if you open a bucket of white paint and it's shiny, yeah. that's, that's how you want it to be for the, for the microphone. So don't need to hold it? Yeah. No, no, not needed. Really nice, good, right temperature, creamy, mm, nice. <laughs> Nelly, are you okay? I, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you've had one beer, <laughs> yeah. no wine for you. Tonight. Nelly's coffee review. <laughs> Nelly's unedited coffee review. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but there's a smile upon your face. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> quality content in the way. <laughs> Always. Your daily dose of quality content with Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, beautiful sunset. It's the future you need to face. And you said, put down your morning gun. Nice. Yeah. Nelly, Nelly. 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 So this evening we are relaxing like for once as you guys know if you're daily viewers of the channel we've been traveling pretty fast pace we've been well you know if you've been watching we've been all over the place but um it's nice for us to kind of sit down and enjoy each other's company we've had a glass of wine um, we're enjoying this beautiful beautiful resort here and something quite funny we decided i don't know who started it who did you get it mike got okay so we've been getting up some old vlogs by the way all our old vlogs ever we've been doing youtube for about four years um, all our old vlogs ever are still on the channel. So if you want a laugh, if you want to see what we used to get up to in our previous life, um, scroll back on the channel. All our old videos are on there. Same with Mike and Nelly. So we've been, wa <laughs> we've been watching some old vlogs, very funny. Uh, 